Hello and welcome to Tempest. Uh, this video will show off the new crew spawning mechanic as well as treasure and how shops work for buying crew. Uh, ladder system which we have a new system for as well as ship commands and how to sail the ship. Alright so first of all I want to show you the, the crew. Um, you will start off with the crew on the ship but if you enter combat or if something happens the crew can die and they most likely will die. Um, so to simulate if they die, you lose crew, um, and the way to to get these members back is to simply go to a port with the proper amount of money, and um, you will find this find this guy in a tavern, and he will have the sign behind him, purchase crew. Tells you what the full complement for the ship is, as well as the cost per man. So if you have the right amount of money, you just press F and it will spawn them back. Um, and the advantage of having a full crew is is that it will allow the ship to sail much more smoother and much it, it'll take less time to raise and lower each sail as well as the anchor. Uh, that brings me to the next next part of this is the sailing the ship. Um, before we had key buttons that would control each each mast, um, but now we found it a little easier and a little bit more clean to have a sailing HUD. And you pull this up by pressing uh, Tab. And you can see that the animations just initialized. We're working on that bit. Um, so the amount of crew depends on how quickly the mizzen sail or the main sail will raise and lower. Um, so right now, if you try clicking on anything, nothing, nothing will happen, and that's because your anchor is still lowered, and that's just holding you in place. Um, so if you raise the anchor, and it'll take a few seconds, we have animations in place for all of these now. So you'll see the anchor raise. There we go. Um, and then that will set you adrift on the water, so you will move a little bit. Um, and there's the animation to show in the HUD that your anchor is up. Um, so now if you want to lower your top gallant, you can. and it will take a certain amount of time depending on how much crew you have. Um, sadly we can't have the crew you know, go up there and set the sails and stuff and now the ship is is sailing um, at a quicker speed. And and now you can you can steer around. We added in animations for the wheel as well as sound. Um, we're still working these out to make them look a little nicer. Um, and then each each sail depending on which sail it is will increase your speed or decrease your speed a certain amount. Um, and this, and this, uh, the sails also have different amounts of time that'll take to set and furl and stuff like that. Um, another feature we just added in now is if you drop anchor while you're moving, it will stop you. Um, we still need to work out some of the in-game feedback system, um, but but if you do lower the anchor, you will just stop dead in your tracks um, and we are going to add in a damage system to where if you are going full speed and you stop suddenly the ship will take damage um, but it will stop you very quickly um, we also added in these raise, raise all sails and take in all sails um, right now these don't do anything because of course the anchor is down but if we raise the anchor again um, and I can actually come down we have the, uh, the capstan animated as well and now that we're going at full, now that we have the anchor up, we can use those those buttons. And what they will do is, it will simply tell the crew to raise all sails and take in all sails, and it will follow the timing that is required for each sail to sail. Um, and the crew will just simply move from one sail to the next in a certain order. Um, and he, and if you put one sail up, and then you press raise all sails, it will just it will recognize that that sail is up, and then go to the next. Um, and this also works for take in all sails. It will start with the fastest, the quickest sail, and then it will work its way down to the slower sails. So, this is what the majority of the week, week few weeks, has been worked on. Um, we also have this exit key for the HUD up here, um, and we had to add this in because in some of the ships, such as the schooner, if you wanted to move from the schooner to this ship, you would usually park right right next to the ship. And if you press tab, it would pull up both ships and you would get caught in this constant loop of HUDs. So we had to add in that just so the player would be able to exit without pressing tab. Um, 
And now the final the final thing that I want to show you, we had a ladder system where it would animate you moving up, but we had to take that out as when the ship was moving, it would cause it would cause a lot of issues with the player character. So now you just press E and it teleports you up. Um, and the player can still give commands to the ship up here. Um, so if you want to be right on the top and give commands, you can still give commands to your crew and the ship will move while you're up here and you can get a great scene of what's going around, on around you. Um, so that is it for this video. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoy.